Happy Seahawks Sunday to everyone out there. Feels very good that we got a win, especially after two uh, consecutive losses from this past Sunday and the Sunday before that. And I know we talked um, about uh, the defense um, over and over again about how bad the defense for the Seahawks have been. But tonight's game and this past Sunday, the defense actually has shown some improvement. When it mattered the most, the defense showed up. They closed the game tonight. And Carlos Dunlap, I know all of us Seahawks fans are grateful that, uh, you know, we made uh, that trade to get him, you know, to get uh, Dunlap um, to us. So it'll be... It'll be interesting to see, you know, how the rest of the season plays out, um, even the regular season. I know a lot of experts out there have been talking about how we have a very easy schedule rem remaining. And as long as I've been a fan of the Seahawks, um, you know, Seattle, we unfortunately sometimes tend to play to our competition. So, you know, I know the NFC East is the NFC least right now, but, you know, it's all they say any given Sunday for a reason. So. Um, but enough about talking about the future, you know, let's talk about this game. Russell Wilson bounced back and I want to say looking at his stats, he threw from, t uh, 23 out of 28 pass attempts for 197 yards and two touchdowns. And most importantly, no interceptions, no fumbles on his behalf. Um, so it was very encouraging to see Russell. And I knew Russell, it, it was just a matter of when he'll bounce back. Cause you know, any player goes through, um, uh, those, those lows from time to time. And, and, you know, I knew Russell would bounce back. It just was a matter of it, whether it be this game or the next game. And yeah, he took care of business, took care of the ball. And then Carlos Hyde, we didn't get Chris Carson back, but Carlos Hyde had 14 attempts for 70 yard, nine yards. Um, we didn't quite hit the 100-yard mark as far as him rushing, but you combine those two, um, and you have, um, you know, you combine the yards from Carlos Hyde and the yards that Russell Wilson ran for, and then the, the, the other running back, which I'm forgetting his name, um, you know, they, they definitely rushed for over 100 yards. So between the rushing and um, Russell Wilson not turning the ball over, I'm not sure why the offensive line, I guess, I guess we still have some players injured. So like we had, um, I think one of our rookers playing center, which was surprising to me. And, um, but the line held it when it needed to allow Russell Wilson, um, to make some plays down the field. And if not, you know, uh, Russell will bail himself out by using his legs. And then, uh, I know Tyler Lockett had a touchdown and, uh, and DK, um, had one as well. DK technically should have had two uh, touchdowns. He had that one where uh, I think right before the half was over, um, it hit him in the in the face and or or in the neck area. And I I guess I heard DK make a joke or maybe he was serious that Russell threw the ball uh, way too uh, fast or put too much arm to it, so it came before he expected it. Which I'm not sure. I mean that sounds like an excuse, but. You know, it is what it is, and um, I think we settled for a field goal. And thankfully, none of those, that play, um, there was another play where DK, I think the ball kind of went, like it bounced off his arm, and thankfully, I think Patrick Peterson was guarding him. Thankfully, Patrick didn't pick that ball off. Patrick, uh, as great as Patrick Peterson is for the Cardinals out on the cornerback position, uh, DK DK was uh, uh, making an example out of him, and... and and taking advantage of a somewhat injured and, you know, uh, Patrick Peterson's not in his prime anymore. You know, Patrick Peterson a few years ago would be able to take DK head on. But Patrick is, is in the later years, and DK took advantage of that. Uh, the Seahawks took advantage of that. And with the exception um, of the penalties now going on the defensive side of the ball, defense played a really good, uh, if not a really good, they played a good game. There were some penalties that, um, you know, definitely cost the Seahawks um, and allowed Arizona to score. 
And there was one drive where I think the defense had two penalties that literally bailed the, the Cardinals out of third downs, I think, each time. Definitely definitely one of those penalties. So, you know, defense still needs to clean those things up. Uh, but what's encouraging is, you know, despite us still not being completely healthy and not having all our players back, we won the game, and we're only getting better. I think once the team gets healthy, um, like we didn't have Chris Carson with this game, but... It's encouraging that Seattle was still able to kind of get back to their basics, get back to playing Seahawk football. And um, I think once we, once we get all of our players back, we're not going to be a you know a, a, a well hopefully a team headed to the Super Bowl, but not you know not an invincible team or anything like that. But um, it's going to help when we get like Shaquille Griffin and um, Dunbar uh, back on. Um, you know, on the defensive side for the cornerback positions and then get Chris Carson back hopefully soon. And um, that'll help. We saw what a running game did for our um, for our offense. You know, Russell Wilson is as electric and dangerous as Russell Wilson is. Um, that run game helps, and it helps to be balanced, um, you know, instead of throwing it around all the time. Um, so Russell can still cook and do his thing, but that running game... Um, always helps. So I feel like this team's only going to get better. And we'll see where they can go from here. But, um, you know, until then, we'll enjoy this win. And, you know, we don't play this Sunday. We play the following Sunday since we played tonight. And hopefully we can keep the momentum going. So with that being said, go Hawks.